we had to do an emergency version of 10 questions with NBC 10 Boston because on Friday morning, we found out that Kemba Walker has been traded to Oklahoma City. But in return, Al Horford is back here in Boston. So here to give her perspective on it is Anna Horford, his younger sister. Anna, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Of course, I had to like, come on. I'm so excited to talk about this. I know. And I, you, if anyone is a Celtics fan, has been for a few years, if you're not following her on Twitter, you should, because she always has a hot take on the Twitter machine on a regular basis. What was your first reaction when you found out that Al was coming back to Boston? I think my first reaction and like the reaction of my siblings is that like, we feel like we almost wished it into existence like we were just so happy and it really just feels like coming home so it's like really exciting and for those who don't know al was in atlanta when he got drafted to the nba and eventually came to boston and not only people forget that not only is the fan the player involved in the city but the family is as well what was the reception when you guys initially came to boston the reception was really good everyone i think was really excited i think the Celtics organization as a whole was really excited to like finally get like a major free agent. And so everyone was like very welcoming. Of course, you know, you have like some media members, radio talking heads who like have an opinion. Um, but for the most part, like the fan base is so welcoming. And like today it's just been so overwhelming. Um, everyone's been amazing so far. And when he left to go to Philly, eventually to OKC as well, you had to deal with the fans in those different cities. How was that experience for you? Yeah, I mean, Philly, if you guys follow me on social media, you know that, like, <laughs> my family and I didn't have the best experience with Philly. Um, and, you know, we really tried, but it just wasn't a good fit. And I feel like we didn't just, like, we didn't click with the city. And with Boston, like, we really did. And so I feel like that was a major difference. I will say, though, that OKC was so amazing. Um, everyone was very, very welcoming. Uh, they have almost, like, I'm from Michigan, as you know, but, like, they have almost, like, that Midwestern, like, hospitality in Oklahoma. So they were, like, really, really great. So I did, did appreciate Oklahoma City for sure. And like I kind of mentioned, a lot of times people look at the player and, you know, his immediate family, well, you are his immediate family, but they think only that a trade affects the player themselves, but they don't realize the impact that it has on the family as well. How does, when your brother gets traded to different teams, how does that affect you? Yeah, I mean, I think the number one thing is no matter where he goes, we always want to be fully supportive and to totally like have his back and we all really root for each other, which I think is like important. It's just, it's, it is difficult moving to new places and trying to get acclimated and you never really know how you're going to be received. Um, but just already, like even coming back to Boston, I've just had thousands and thousands of like well wishes and notifications, like in the last couple hours alone. So, um, so that's always really, really nice. Of the four cities he's been in, why does Boston stand out so much? I think it's because it is such a presence in and of itself. Like Boston is just historically just so um, well known, but not only that, like as a sports city, it just kind of ticks every box and we really, really vibed with that. And so, um, so yeah, it's just been, it's been really good. And it just like, like I said, feels like home. Everyone's very welcoming. And I think he's going to make a great addition to this young team. And he's been in this locker room before. He knows Brad. He probably will be connected to the next head coach in some way. Either way, he's connected to this locker room. What do you think his experience from going to Philly, going to Oklahoma, what do you think he can bring back to this team after have been been away for so long? Um, well, I think, I mean, it's been said like in previous interviews with like Jason and Jalen, like how much of a leader Al was and how much they learned from him. Um, not just, you know, basketball related stuff, but just life in general. So I think what he brings from like another team and just um, is wisdom and like experience and 
Um, so I think he's like really going to help these young guys. I think he's going to be a great mentor. I think they're really excited about that. And I'm, you know, thinking that's probably why Brad pushed so hard to have him back. And so, so yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to it and seeing where it all goes. And the other part of the trade is the fact that Kemba Walker is leaving overall think for Al, at least he was able to leave on his own terms when he went to Philly. But what is your perspective when it comes to players that oftentimes do get traded due to injury and the risk of them continuing to play with that team? Yeah, I mean, it's always tricky. Like, you never know what you're going to get. And I think people need to, like, be fully aware of that. And basketball, obviously, is about talent and opportunity. Uh, But it's also about luck and, like, being in the right situation. And, you know, I think IT tweeted the other day, like, I wish we could ban injuries. Like, no one wants to see another player injured. Um, And it does, I mean, it obviously does, like, impact how well these guys fit on like certain teams and whatnot um but yeah so so it's tricky i would say every situation is different um but it really can dictate a player's time in a city so your brother josh is actually in the comments right now he just put a little heart emoji shout out to him Mm -hmm. but overall like i mentioned you are well your brother and your family will be back in the boston scene what did you miss most about being able to travel here on a regular basis? Oh, just like the atmosphere, the environment, um, obviously my friends. So you, uh, you know, everyone at the CLNS Media Network, just all the connections I've made. Um, it's been so great. And everyone's just really embraced us. And you guys never really let go either. Like people joked, me and my siblings were still part of like weird Celtics Twitter and stuff. Yeah. Um, and that's like, so true. Like we never really like lost our love for the city. So I think that that's going to continue and just be like a really beautiful thing. And hopefully that means you mentioned CLNS will relaunch the Horford happy hour podcast and hear from you more on the regular. (laughs) Definitely, Absolutely. Well, Anna Horford, thank you so much for joining 10 questions with NBC 10 Boston. I know I can speak for the Celtics fans that are in the city. They're looking forward to seeing that family back here in Boston. We're very excited. Thank you so much. Of course.